So y'all tell me, should I reseed this field in canola? Or should I seed this field in corn? Knowing that we're going to have to go into debt in order to achieve that goal. Or I can see reseed this field again in canola, bunker up a whole bunch of canola, and hope for the price to stabilize at something higher than it is so that we can go and sell it for a pretty penny. So y'all y'all let me know what you think on that. And while uh, while we ruminate upon that thought. Uh, yes, let's ruminate. Uh, let's go ahead and also do the uh, high speed again. So I will slow everything down as we finish up the field. All right, we're back to letting our, our hired worker run the combine and we chase it with the tractor. Yeah, tractor chase. It's like a game of chase. That doesn't make any sense. Never mind, forget that. Uh, what were we talking about last? Oh, last time we were talking about games. Yeah, there are actually a couple of things. Like th those of you that have followed me on, been following me on Twitter know that I've been working on Grand Theft Auto 4 already. Not recording, mind you. Uh, I've started modding Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm not going to do mod spotlights. That's not going to happen. I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto 4, but I'm going to play Grand Theft Auto 4 as modded as I can. Um, last count, it's like 150 something mods that I'm working through. I um, mean, it keeps like I posted uh, early in the week or middle week. 135 minus 15 plus 7. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. I found 135 mods. And so I installed 15 of them, or or, dis or dumped a few of them. There were a couple that I was just like, oh, yeah, no, not happening. Um, and then I added seven more mods. I was like, well, that doesn't help, because that's... <laughs> so, yeah, um, it, it's an endeavor. Modding Grand Theft Auto 4 is not an easy thing, and is not for the faint of heart, and is not for somebody who isn't comfortable um, with computers and editing computers. Every single car is going to be different. Uh, every single aircraft is already different. Um, half of the boats will change, and all of the bikes will change. All but one of them has already been changed. Graphics have been overhauled. Um, I've added some scripts that act, add some really interesting stuff to the game. Um, oh, you guys, um, I, I still have to get it to work. So um, there's one that, that Last week, I think, I talked about fuel. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you burned fuel? I found a mod for that. I just have to get it to work. <laughs> I can't refuel the car, and I don't know how to make it refuel. Um, and it also graphically overlays another mod, which really drives me kind of nuts. So I might end up having to pull it out, because I can't actually get my cars to refuel, which does become a problem. Um, but it is, it is um, it's looking really nice. Like. Now I get in the game and I'm like, oh, this looks like New York. Uh, of course, I added a mod for a bus and now the game crashes every five minutes. So I have to go rip that mod out, which is not an easy feat and um, put a different one in. So pain in the butt, but hopefully it will be just an absolutely awesome Grand Theft Auto 4 experience. What else are we doing? Um, oh, you know, before I forget, I want to thank you guys. Um, I really want to thank you guys. You, you've done really well in, in getting rid of the uh, in, uncivil behavior in the comments, and I really do appreciate it. Um, yes, some people still direct uncivil stuff at me. Fine, whatever. I have some pretty thick skin, and I really don't care. Um, but I just would prefer that you guys keep going the way you've done a great job the past week you haven't been yelling at each other so uh, I appreciate that I really do and I really I really thank you for that uh, games oh yeah the other game I played <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I played Forza 4 some just to remind myself why I hate Forza 4 and the Xbox Live system so 
someone asked me, I can't remember, I, I should write down people's names because like I remember that you asked me these things, but totally forget your name and I'm sorry. But someone asked me, why do I hate Forza 4? And there's really a couple of reasons I hate Forza 4. First reason is, or not just Forza 4, but all Forzas. The AI is so simple to beat. I turn the AI all the way up. I have all of the assists off. And I walk all over the AI, even with stock cars. I can walk all over the AI. In fact, in Forza 3, great example of this, um, for those of you that know, in the F class of Forza 3, there's a Volkswagen Rabbit GTI from 84. It's got a performance index rating of 100. The highest performance index rating you can have in F class is 200. Well, is that right? 200? I think that's right. Anyway, I took the that stock 1984 Volkswagen GTI and raced against the AI cars, they were turned all the way up in terms of their difficulty. My assists were turned all the way off. I beat the cars by over a lap in a six lap race. And that, so the AI is just rubbish. Um, in Forza 4, the AI is even worse because they don't, they don't ever really make mistakes. At least in Forza 3, a car would make a mistake and it would look real. It doesn't look real anymore in Forza 4. And then you go online and it's worse than world of tanks like world of tanks with the exception of certain days basically saturday and sunday when all the kids when all the kids who who aren't allowed on the computer all week get on the computer and shoot their teammates which is what happens on the weekends in world of tanks but in forza it's constant like you, you're racing and you're having this great race with this guy and someone comes flying around a corner and just rams you because there's a reason so it's it's really I don't I really don't enjoy the online aspect of it um, I race sometimes I go on Xbox Live and I do a little bit of racing online but usually I go on Xbox Live I have some friends that I know that we get together and we just race in a private race because we don't want anybody else in there. We don't want to deal with it. And that's uh, that's one thing I don't like about Xbox Live. Um, and Forza 4, for that matter. Which actually can lead right into a nice segue. Literally, as I was recording this, an email drops in my inbox that asks, let me quote the email, Xbox One, what it does. Right? So you're thinking, okay, Let's see what Microsoft has to say. Uh, first line, all the entertainment you love all in one place, from the biggest blockbuster games to the most popular TV shows, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Next thing it says, home sweet home screen with Netflix and Family Guy. Always ready when you are. Instant on, always on, even turns on your TV. Really? Because I, I have a remote for that. Uh, new way to watch TV? Don't want to. Come together with Xbox One. Social? No. And then, new generation of Xbox Live. Your favorite sports? No. Don't don't really care. I mean, that that's literally it. That Now now we're into the, the legalese babble. That was their pitch to me. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Ooh, it has a link. How it games. I want to see this. We're going to learn together. If you love gaming, this is the one for you. Is it? As real as real life. I doubt it. Um, oh, nope. That's... It's all about Forza, for, Forza 5. Oh, well, we can go right back to my Forza conversation from a moment ago. Okay, yeah. All right. Ugh. Xbox. Oh, well so much for that right I'm, I'm still gonna give it some benefit of the doubt I'm really hoping that Microsoft and Sony both bring their new consoles to PAX Prime um, I want to try some I want to get some hands-on time with these things um, hopefully their people there will actually answer my questions or they will be capable of answering my questions because often they just hire somebody to, to, to 
I don't want to say booth babe it, because there's some guys there too, but I mean, I guess you could still say they're booth babes. Whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope they show up at PAX Prime with their consoles and with some games, Sony, um, so that I can get some hands-on time and really like, get a, a feel for how these things are going to game, how they stack up against computers. Someone, someone brought up about uh, um, the comment about from the EA's chief technology officer concerning the that performance of the next gen consoles, saying that they're better than the budget PCs, or better than what PC what the people who don't have a lot of money can buy. Yes, I agree, they are, um, but. For most of us who really love our games, we're gonna go pick up a rig that's eight hundred dollars. It'll blow these things out of the water. And and here's here's the real thing for me. Your console, you can't upgrade it. But my computer, when I get an extra few hundred bucks, back when I was in high school, when I got an extra few hundred bucks, I go buy a new graphics card, stick that in there, boom, upgraded. And there you go. And the computer prices keep coming down. What used to cost me, no joke, $150, $200 for 500 megabytes of RAM? Shoot, I can go pick up another 8, 16 gigs of high-speed RAM for my computer for 50, 75 bucks. So, I mean, it's true out of the box. A budget PC will not be able to handle the performance level of the new consoles, but let's be honest, when it comes down to it, you can always upgrade your computer. Cool. What else do I have on my list of things we can talk about? <laughs> oh, hey, you know, have you ever thought about this? I'm, I'm sitting here watching my, my tractor go back and forth and back and forth. Wouldn't it be, like, today we talk about drones and, like, the future of pilotless commercial aircraft. Well, couldn't we apply that to farming equipment? Like, it would be kind of spooky, I guess, but, like, let's say you're a farmer and you sit down and you, you've got your field, you got your combine, and sort of, like, sort of like course play you like on the computer set up your combines path and then you press go and your drone combine goes out and takes care of the field for you wouldn't that be cool like I mean some people would be like oh no that would lose people some jobs well that's true but it would also gain jobs. Somebody's got to build a new combine. Somebody's got to maintain the new combine. Somebody's got to write the program for the new combine. But wouldn't that be cool? You know what would be cool? It's like some of us, some of you, really love farming simulator and really love virtual farming. But what if what we did on farming simulator, like you could like log in and control a real tractor that's cultivating or plowing. And like within extremely tight constraints where if you, you know, try to do like these kids do in World of Tanks and like take a hard left, it would just stop the tractor. <laughs> um, but wouldn't that be like, like you're, you're like bored on the Sunday night. You're like, you know what? I know that these people over on the other side of the world right now really need my help. Let me log into the website and let me drive their tractor for them. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be cool. I also am crazy. People tell me that all the time. I'm crazy. I just I just think it would be, you know, leverage all the technology. We already have drones flying all over the place, and they, they seem to be just fine. Why can't we do the same thing with farm equipment? Heck, why can't we do the same thing with trucks on the highway? No, I changed my mind. I don't like that idea. <laughs> uh, I've seen some people stuck out drive a truck on uh, your truck simulator. I don't want him driving a truck virtually that drives a real truck. That'd be a bad idea. Um, 
There's got to be some other things that could be done remotely that would make a lot of sense. I would think. I would hope. Things to think about, right? Oh, what else? Oh, let's go back to... <laughs> let, me j let me just jump topics again. Why not? Why not? There's been a lot of conversation about used games. I'm not going to jump into the used games conversation around consoles. But I'll tell you, there's two people out there to watch. And they, they give some pretty good arguments. And they don't agree with each other completely. But they do give some pretty good arguments. Go watch Total Biscuit. I think his, his, YouTube, his YouTube title is Total Halibut, I believe. Um, and also watch uh, Boogie 2988. He's also really good. I'll, I'll put a link to their videos down in the description. They, they give some really good arguments. Um, polarizing conversation, but I do like, I do like the uh, conversation is being had. That's, that's always good to conversate. What else we got going down? What we got going down? Oh, yes. Face cam. People keep asking for a face cam. Guess what you're not going to get yet? You're not going to get a face cam. Mainly because I don't have one. Honestly, that would be the real reason. Um, expect to finally see who me and Das are for PAX. For obvious reasons, we're going to be on camera. So you're going to have to wait until PAX. I'm sorry, that's the way it works. I also have to go buy a video camera for PAX, or go rent a video camera for PAX, um, which is a different problem altogether. So constantly asking me for face cam doesn't get you anything, because I don't physically have a device to do that. So there you go. It is, it is something that will happen, and it will happen the end of August at the latest for PAX. All right, we're coming towards the end of our uh, of our harvest. We've actually got both fields. The fog has really helped me here because it reduces the amount of data my computer has to deal with on fraps. So it actually allows me to record longer because the fog hides a lot of the the look of the farm. So that's good. I am I'm probably going to in the next 12 to 18 months get rid of fraps and move to something else, um, a hardware solution, because it's supposed to be better. So we'll see how that goes. That uh, might not happen. Who knows? Who knows? The shadow knows. That's not really the sound for the shadow. Oh well. I don't care too much. So I'm, I'm running out of things to talk about. Quite honestly, I am running out of things to talk about. Um, I should have made the, the high speed go faster. That would have been smart. Oh well. What can I do? Not much, I'll tell you, that's for sure. Yeah, so um, check out the... Well, <laughs> let me just babble for a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, check out the, the videos below from... Total Biscuit and uh, Boogie, and and I think they're they're good videos, and I really discuss the situation around used games. I think that's cool. Um, totally follow me on Twitter. Again, when it comes time for packs, that's how you're going to get your information is on Twitter. I do now, thanks to somebody mentioning it. I have figured out how to hook up Twitter and Facebook. So if you're a Facebook follower and you don't have Twitter, everything should be bouncing onto Facebook. Um, because I don't check Facebook very often, I just go on there to confirm people. Uh, you'll have to tell me if things aren't bouncing on there, but you've probably seen more stuff showing up. I did check something and it showed up, so hopefully it's all showing up. Um, yeah, so follow me on Twitter or Facebook, either one. Um, though, you, when you respond to me on Facebook, I get an email, which is great if I'm sitting in front of my computer. If you respond to me on Twitter, I can get it anywhere I can log on to Twitter. Um, and my login routines are such that logging on to my email is a very difficult proposition. But anyway, yeah, follow me there. Um, 
Simulator Sunday. If you know some some good simulator games that are relatively inexpensive, um, I have a few sitting over here that we're going to do, but then I'm going to probably need some. And, uh, oh yeah, remember the Let's Build. That project is huge. If I start having to do every other week or something like that, don't be alarmed. Um, it's just such an overwhelming project. I've set out for myself. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you that this is the first of what's going to be, at minimum, four towns. More than likely, six towns. And they're all going to be different. So, and they're all going to be huge. So it's going to be a very big, long-term project. And, and like I said in the last harvest, I will attempt to release the map in pieces, but we'll see how that works. So it looks like we're coming to the end of our harvest. So it's time to go find out what in the world I said after I finished harvesting, because I don't remember. Let's go find out what I was babbling about. And here we come to the end of the field! Yay! Yay! And stop. Perfect. Alright, so I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get that cat back with its current fuel capacity. Uh, oh well. So we've done the big field, we've done the other field, the small field is still fallow. Yeah, so let's dump this out, uh, figure out how much all we've got. What the, has the price changed at all? Canola's gone up. Hmm. I still don't like that barley price. It still seems a little bit low, so I'm going to hope that it goes up some more. I'm probably going to just watch it for a bit. Um, and canola... Uh, 442 for canola. I don't know. I think I'm. Gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and bunker it for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll just kind of go with like a bunkering of wheat off of the uh, the field over here for off the next harvest, and we'll just basically make our money on the silage. I think. And that's kind of the way to go. And eggs. <laughs> uh, and sheep wool. That would be that would be another thing. Sheep wool. Alright. So let's see, how much did we bunker? Nine statistics. So 112,000 liters of barley, basically two trailer loads of barley, and three trailer loads of canola. Excellent, now 14 eggs. Cool, all right. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm going to fuel up, and then I'm gonna get the, uh, the cat back from uh, the far reaches of space, and then we will figure out what we're going to do next. So, refill, and while well, that is working, let's... What do we think? <laughs> Should we risk it? Mm, yeah, let's risk it. I don't want to cheat. Oh. I don't mind the resetting, actually. Especially with the way this cat drinks money. Money? Yes, money. The way this cat drinks money, because that's what it does. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Okay, here's what we're doing. I'm going to pull up all that straw with the kid on the other field. Um, and I'm going to plant that field in wheat. Then I'm going to wait on you guys to tell me, meaning that I may plant, if, if I feel you guys are giving me, everyone has given their feedback, I might plant this other field in corn. 
Um, so it will be ready for next episode as well. Um, or canola, depending on what you guys tell me. The options are canola on this big giant monster field, or corn, but if we're going to get corn, we're going to have to spend almost $125,000 to get all the equipment we need. So those are our options. Corn or canola. <laughs> I'm going to pull up all of the silage. Silage? No, it's straw. Pull up all the straw, I'm going to dump it in the, in the silage plant and get that cooking before I plant the wheat. And I, my hope is um, I will cook that up and then with the Ford, I will run all of that in and empty that bunker and then that money hopefully will be a good 100,000 or more, I hope. I honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, those are really our. That's really what's going on. And then after I get the silage, I'll I'll plant the field in wheat, and then I'll plant this other field with whatever you guys uh, think is best: canola for another run, or go for some corn. Um, I think I think our next big purchase is definitely going to be another combine. Uh, we're going to get the 770 TerraTrack. That is a definite. Um, and I think we're going to run the two combines together. I know that the cat just drinks, drinks fuel. I know. Um, it's really annoying. But, um, it's also, like, the perfect vehicle to have. I mean, to have two combines, this one's already bought and paid for. Um, and then get the, the 770 Terra Track. And then, uh, figure out things from there. I'm going to go ahead and let him fuel up. Watch our money slurp down. Let me get him out of the way. Ugh. Man. A lot of money. Alright, we're going to just put this... We're just going to park it over here this time. And there. And, uh, oh, those two wool pallets. I'll probably go sell the two wool pallets. Maybe. Actually, probably not. Honestly. Um, he's going to need his buckets. We're going to park him in here. It's still refueling. Ugh, and this one needs fuel too. Ugh. Going to kill us. It's going to kill us. Fuel, the fuel bill alone is going to kill us. Uh, go. So there, he's got his bucket. And he's ready to work. Is it still refueling? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's just add to the misery and let's go refuel this guy too. <laughs> uh, you done yet? Yes, you're done yet. You're done yet. You're done now. Whatever. Yet, now. I don't know. Alright, let's go put the cat away. And, um... And then I think we'll call the episode. I will, uh, I will, like I said, I will pull up all the straw with the kid, dump it in the uh, biogas facility, cook it, dump all the resulting silage so that we get all of our lovely money. Um, and who wants to watch me do that? Cause it's going to take forever with the uh, Ford front end. Um, I will plant that field over there in wheat. I will wait on you guys for the field over here. We're either going to plant it in canola. Again, oop, not that way, that way, that field. We're either going to plant it in canola, or we're going to spend $125,000, give or take, um, to buy the corn head and the corn seeder and the cost of seeds and hired help in order to, uh, in order to get run corn on that one. And then if a great demand is to show up, if a great demand shows up, I will sell barley or canola um, off screen or not. And uh, if I do it off screen, if it happens while I'm doing silage or whatever I'm doing, then I will just let you guys know what we sold it at. And, and then we'll, we'll all be happy, 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 because we'll have money, money, money. 
then we're going to buy another field. Um, well, no, we're going to buy a Terra Track, and then another field. I think that's what we decided, right? I don't remember now. <laughs> Honestly, I have no recollection. I'll have to look at my own video to remember, try to remember what we just decided. Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Until next time, this has been Derek Tebbers, playing Farming Simulator 2013, here in foggy central Kansas. Bye.